Good day everyone, on this video we'll show you how to install Catalina on VirtualBox. Catalina is one of the latest softwares right now for Mac OS. Let me open the page of VirtualBox. Once you are at that page, please go to Downloads. Select the one that says Virtual Extension Pack. Click on it and it will start the download. Now, once you have it, I have it on my desktop here. Go to Preferences. On Preference, go to Extensions. Click on this icon, then select the Extension Pack. Open and it automatically install. Once you have installed the Extension Pack, go to New. We're going to name it as Catalina, select Mac, and the latest here, which is this one. Then go to Next. I go to here. I'm going to put a gets Next, Create. Next, Next. 30 gets is enough. Create. I already created the machine here. Go to settings, on settings, use this one. On this one, I'm going to leave it as four. Scroll until the end. Storage, make sure to select the ISO that you have on, that you have download. And then network, leave it at like that. Don't change anything. Serial ports, USB share folders. Okay, now before I start the machine, we're going to use some scripts that will allow us to install on VirtualBox. I'm going to include this on in the description below so you can have it. We're going to go to these scripts here. As you can see, these are simple commands for VirtualBox. On the quotation marks, we're going to include the name of our machine. For that, go to settings and I name it as Catalina. Copy that, then paste it on every single line so you can make this work. Okay, now let's continue with this. Once we have that already, modify we go to this icon then look for cmd and click on run as administrator yes okay now we simple do this copy and paste copy and paste right we're going to Do it like this. Let me see if this works. There you go. It works this time. Once we have finished with that, let's go back to VirtualBox. It will automatically ask you if you want to reload settings. Go to reload settings here. Okay. Okay. Now let's start the machine. This is the first screen that you will be getting. As you can see here, the system is loading properly. As you can see on the screen, the system is loading properly, it's working. And we are going to see a screen here. I'm going to full screen here. On the following page, we have to select the language that we are going to use. Once we have entered to this part, make sure to go to Disk Utility, clicking Continue. 
you will see a lot of devices connected to this virtual machine. Go to show all devices. Look for the one that says B-Box Hartix Media. Once you have selected that, go to this part here. Name it as you wish. Make sure to select APFS option. And on this part, leave it as light default here. Go to this part here. And it will start the configuration. It's already done. Click on done here. Close this tab. Go to install Mac OS. The installation will start as you can see here. Click continue. Agree. Agree. Select the disk. Install. As you can see, the installation has begun. We're going to wait. We're going to pause the video. As you can see here, it will reboot. It will ask you to restart. Or it automatically will restart. As you can see on the following screen, uh, the installation continues. It restarts. Sometimes it takes 20 minutes to be installed. As you can see, we're almost done with the process. On the description below, I will include the links where to go and download the ISO and VirtualBox extension pack. As well, I'm going to include the scripts that we have used previously, so you can have them. On the following page, we're going to select the country where you're located or where you would like to use this device. We click on continue, written in a spoken language, English, that's fine. You can customize here, continue. And uh, data privacy, click continue. If you want to transfer files from another Mac to this one, you have several options here. We click in continue and if you don't have an ID you can create here but if you don't want to create one set up later skip this part here and we set the terms and conditions agree um, make sure to enter your user and your password right we click in continue once we have that part it will start the creation of the account and this part leave it as default 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 here enable CD okay leave it like that Mm hmm share audio recordings mm hmm not now what about the finish if you have question please let us know in the comment below so we can help you on the following section we have several options light dark and auto I'm going to leave it as dark then we can continue you can customize according to your preferences that's up to you. The setting up, it's almost done. I hope you like this video. Once we are on the main screen, uh, we have to test it that it's working. Everything is fine. Okay. As you can see here, we finally made it. You can have the top bar for all the settings here. As well, you have the dock here where you have all these apps and the settings preferences as well.
if you want to navigate the launchpad is here safari is here so a lot of applications i hope you like the video subscribe if you like it we're going to be updating the channel with more content soon and we're going to learn how to use catalina once we have finished with the installation we're going to configure the full screen make sure to restart we're going to use the following command so the computer can give you the full screen mode as well make sure to include the name of the machine that you have so in, by doing that you're going to make sure this is going to how to work Catalina okay I have it here copy and then go to the CMD open as administrator make sure that you are on the folder you are there now and copy and paste this command and then we restore the machine here well this is everything folks i hope you liked the video and please subscribe or like the video. Thank you.